will hear, as you can see with the intro, we are finally getting to it. These are the Kowalski uh, Wolf and Sable brushes that was kickstarted a while ago. I have made a, a little short video about these, about my experience. First off the bat, I bought these myself when they were on Kickstarter. They have a third one that's going to be coming out soon, which I will do a review on, just like with these. Uh, that is their Teclon, Teclon. It's their, their artificial brushes, mostly marketed towards dry brushing, which they are releasing a dry brush palette with also. And so I'm excited with that. Their theme is a cyber tiger, so it's going to be cool. Each one is kind of based off their animal that the bristles are based off of. So the new coming out brushes that are uh, fake are white and black, uh, striped like winter tiger. And because it's a fake, the cybernetics, so, so on and so forth. And the sable brushes are based off the sable and the wolf is based off this wolf, which if you bought these on their website or through Kickstarter, uh, they come with accesses to STL. So you have a model to paint with along with, they came with a little sheet, which I'll have a picture here. Uh, telling you how to take care of your brushes because these are the peak top. I think like the second step to having the pro pro super, you know, $80 a brush sort of collector's brush. These are your, your uh, daily pro brushes, I'd say. So whereas Michael's are kind of like um, your in between starter to casual use uh, slash standard use brush. And then Games Workshop, Army Painter, and Vallejo, whatever, Vallejo brushes are your mid to um, intro into pro painting. These are your pro painter beginner brushes to, so this would be your expert intro. This would be your, um, your pro uh, warm up brushes, your intro into game, what pro is gonna be like, like your, your free trial of a pro brush basically. Representing that this was about $40 USD or actually $40 Australian because this is an Australian company that makes these. So this was 40 Oz and then this was about 60 Oz. So uh, I will have a link for the brushes down below what website to get them on. Fully support those guys. They're a small company who um, basically are privately owned by themselves. Highly recommend checking these out. They're great detail, they're great quality. So we're gonna get right into it, get into actually using them and talking about them. I will give a disclaimer here, second disclaimer. Uh, first one was, I bought these myself. They're not freebies or anything. And which ties into the second one, which is I'm not going to be reviewing these guys. I, I'll review them, but I'm not gonna use them on the test model. I'm just, I'm gonna be honest, I'm just too much of a bitch to uh, mess up these brushes. These are really nice, really expensive brushes. These are something I would give to my mom to use because she's a professional painter. Like, she would like treat them well. Whereas these ones are still really great brushes. Like, these are great alternatives to these ones. It just, I don't feel as bad because they gave me, and you can see on the back here. Um, let me get into into view here. As you can see on the back here, they gave me a bunch of these brushes. Plus with the Kickstarter, it was a Kickstarter, I got to choose some extras because I bought the all in bundle. So, and it was definitely really, really worth it. There it is. The link, go check them out. But I'm not, I have a bunch of doubles and I have another one of these come in because I'm going to actually give some of them. I'm going to give some of the brushes away to my friends. So if my friends are watching this, you're getting one of these in the mail, so uh, not the full thing, but you're gonna get a bunch of the brushes from this if they give me a bunch, basically, in the future. So I wanted to split them with my friends and give them the gifts, because you get, you get like a bunch of brushes. You get like 15 brushes in here, so. Whereas on this one, as you can see, you only get eight, and with the Kickstarter bundles with choosing a couple extra, I think I only got 11, but maybe even 10. I got 10 brushes in this one. In this one, I got like 15 to like, 17 so that's that's why so we're gonna open them up uh, this one's still kind of as it is packaged so we're gonna open it up we'll take a look at the brushes and then we'll get to painting a model with them opening up yeah so here we go we have the brushes here 
As you can see, this is the interior. The lid pops off just like whoop. Uh, what I've done, though this may be heresy, for those who might want to prolong their brushes or have it open easily if you want to continue, who want to open it easily or who want to continue using this container, I've drilled just with my hand drill for my models, four holes so it can breathe and just boop. Feels nice too if you want to cool down your hands, you can just and I air on my hands. So that goes there. And as you can see on here, we have it comes with this. So this is a vegan brush soap, so acrylics, oils, and watercolor. A lot of nuts and stuff. It unscrews. And there it is, feeling it. It's like a wax. Now, I do have, and of course the inside is just plastic. I do have a bunch of these, so I that's why I'm not afraid of touching it. But yeah, it's waxy. And the idea is, um, for your more pro brushes, what you do is, what I'm gonna do with mine is, I'm gonna go in with the uh, another brush soap I have on the thicker ones, and then use this as a top off to kind of put it to a point and wash it. But the reason why it's so small is you don't need so much, but when you're done painting, especially with thicker acrylics or something, these brushes you're not gonna be using, um, you know, your choppy, bad, or um, metallic paints with them. You're gonna be using your nice thin or expensive like Vallejo paints and stuff. So this soap would be good for that. You only need a little, and I recommend washing your brushes off after a long, long paint times, or if you've been really good at rinsing with clean water, um, maybe once a week and stuff like that, depending on how your brush, how much you put your brush through. So again, we got this. They all uh, both come in these bags. Though the wolf one, as you can see here, has silver. And your more big, big ones come in gold. Now I'm wondering if the, the tiger one is gonna have a platinum bag or if it's gonna be uh, a white or something, maybe a bronze. But going into it, these are the sable brushes. Now I thought these would be more wood-like because you know, the whole theme of being pro and nature and stuff. But these are actually a nice, clean, black um you know handle and again i thought the the black handle here i thought the black handle here would be more for the wolf brushes so as you can see all the brushes i did get uh that weren't given away and for me is right here and we have one two three four and we actually have 16 on here from after the kickstarter yeah so i got a little bit more so that means i got because i got a lot of them probably maybe 20 of the uh wolf brushes because I got more wolf brushes than I did with these so I don't know if it was because of the Kickstarter I got way more brushes but I, I got these brushes it says there's supposed to be eight in these boxes so this is supposed to be your entire set for your brushing so you're gonna get your triple zeros which is going to be but you're supposed to get anything from zero to seven so your smallest one on these ones is at least what I got you there was choices to pre-select what brushes you wanted, what sizes to add on as extras. So we have our number zero here with this really nice wood and uh, finished brush um, handle, as you can see here. It's, uh, only really ever touched it when I first got it and now, so. And it, all of the brushes have these plastics on here which if you had a brush before, you will understand what it is. And then last but not least, we have our brush here. So that's the uh, zero. As you can see, there's a little bit of hair fraying on it, but right there, it's not that big of a problem, especially for this small, I can always recondition it. Then you, of course you have your one, your two. Twos are probably gonna be your most used. So let's look at the two. So this is your two. Nice again, nice bristle. And we're gonna pop it up and bristle. It's got a white tip to it. Again, it has a little bit of fraying, but again, all these brushes are hand, they are handmade. So all the hairs in here, all the conditioning is all done by hand. And they are fantastic brushes, like beautiful brushes for model painting. And of course, your largest one here, which is your seven, which is your three claws is what they call it. And 
you can even just see it through the plastic here, the uh, bristle. So I would not recommend using these for your washes or your, your metal paints. Use these for your nice thinned out paints. We're gonna pack up these, put them away, and then we'll pull out the wolf brushes and then we'll get to painting that model. So here is the wolf container. Um, just as a heads up, I pulled out some brushes because I am using the wolf bag with some of the spares as my main brushes now. So they're out. So these are just loose in the container. As you can see, so as you can see, we got our wolf brushes here. They have this nice wood sort of look. So I'm basically using one of each of these brushes I have in here, excluding some of the double zeros because I have a different brush for that. So with that in mind, um, we'll count. I'm using a one, I'm basically using one of everything that's not a triple zero or zero. So we'll count those as double. So 19 brushes in here. And uh, of course, for this one, they give you a lot of zeros and quadruple zeros and triple zeros when zeros galore. So it seems like you definitely want to use these ones more for your smaller stuff. And then you use your other, your other brushes for more detail work and controlled work. But these do come with uh, all the other sort of brush numbers, just like the last one it comes with uh, your triple zero to sevens. You're supposed to get 10 brushes in here. So again, I got more because I think the Kickstarter, but let us look here. So we're gonna take a look at their smallest bristle, bristle, which is the Freaky, I believe it's called. Again, just the same plastic. Whereas these ones have a bare metal, these have a bare metal frill on them. As you can see really nice, if anything, actually nicer points. But these are wolf hair, same idea as the Kalowskis. These are handmade. I'm gonna be very careful putting this back. And then we're gonna look at our number twos. I've been using the number two actually for a while now, and I think this is the name of the wolf himself. And again, pop it open. Really nice bristle point. Now I've been using my number two that I decided to pop open and test for the last good part of a year here. Like since I've, I, since a couple of months after I've had these, still got a great point on it. Again, I'm only using it with good clean water and stuff and it's great. And of course this also did come with another soap as you saw pop out or maybe you didn't depend on what I edit, but these are definitely worth it. Highly recommend ordering these brushes, um, especially if you're in the, the West, just because that Australian dollar is going to be dirt cheap for us. So I recommend picking it, these up through their website. They are chroniclecards.com. They make a bunch of stuff. They make brushes, dry palettes, STLs to paint on, and D&D uh, &D books and things like that. They're great, highly recommend them. Uh, and they have switched to a new shipping company, AK themselves. So it seems like from everyone else, they've been getting their stuff a lot quicker, though I seem to be running into the same issue yet again this year where it's gonna take about a year for me to get my shit again. And I think that's gonna, if that does happen, this might be the last time I order from them just because that's kind of not acceptable in my opinion that it takes a whole year for something that's been sitting there to come to you. Um, I get it, I'm you know on the opposite end of the world, but still uh, there was people in Europe and even like in North America getting their stuff before me so and i'm the one that paid the most one of the few people that pay the most so you think i would have had a little more priority on that list just because of that but i got them in the end it was totally worth it i understand being you know a two-person operation i will definitely give them the benefit of doubt on that i will give them the pass for that but i can still as a customer as somebody who dropped money to get my the last brushes I'll ever own. I'm gonna be mad on that end. But anyways, that's enough about the actual, just looking at these brushes. Let's actually get to start using these brushes. So here we go, we have the subject here that we're going to be painting. Nice bust that I got from Cults 3D, 3D Cults. Here's the Elven Archer or Archer bust. And we're just going to basically go in and paint this model with these, uh, with the brushes here. And you guys are gonna kinda watch as I use these and stuff. So we're gonna be using the number seven and the number two. And because we're not gonna be using the zeros because I have another project or product I wanna actually test on this video, 
So I got the brush and it's got a really nice sort of rubbery feel to it and the tip color. So you can tell just by looking at it, if you have it facing down or laying down, what it is. So we're gonna be using that for the eyes today. Let's get right into this before the camera overheats and yeah. So we're gonna start with painting this. Uh, we did our first base layer. I'm gonna come in and do a second one, which I'm gonna try the control of the number seven here. So we're just gonna dip it in some clean water. I got halfway. So we're gonna start off with, I used cobalt skin for the skin. I find this is a really nice one for a base layer or even a layer layer for uh, onto my CD palette, the oldest of palettes. Excuse me as I glove up and there we go. Now I won't get oils and stuff. I got really hot hands so using a glove for something like this is going to be great. So we're just going to zoom in so you guys can watch the paint on action here. So we're gonna oh, just drop it. We're just gonna go across the, the face here. And already I can tell that this brush may have been a mistake for this face here, but again, that may have just been the small parts. Forgive me, I'm trying to keep this focus for you guys. But, I'm thinking number seven so far in its initial use is not going to be a great help for this this detail so we're going to switch to a different brush we're going to dip again we're going to continue to use just the wolf brushes we're going to switch to a where is there you number three so number three is going to be a nice mix between the number seven, how it's supposed to act, and a number two. Again, we're, even though these are freshly clean brushes, we are wetting them because we are make them flexible. And so we're just going to go in with that same sort of paint, make sure not to get it more than half up the bristle. We're just going to go to this side here. And yeah, it's a lot easier to control. And it's very nice. The bristles are moving very nicely, though the paint is starting to chunk up, unfortunately. This is not the fault of the brush, this is the fault of the paint. Normally I like to paint with a thicker, yeah, that's better, with a thicker paint, but again, trying to make this more nice, more professionally done. I've been going in with a more liquidy paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to adding more of this and using these brushes. And we'll get to the part where I do the Vallejo stuff. So we'll see you guys in that part there. Okay, yeah, so we're back here. We painted some of the skin, it's still drying, but we're gonna go in here and actually test the new brush out here, just because the camera is dying. And yeah, and when we come back after this test, the camera's not dead, we will have the model finished, and I'll show you what it looks like with using those brushes. So we're taking our Vallejo V detailed synthetic. Same idea, we're just gonna dip in the water a bit here. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use it to one, first off, clean off our mess we made with the, the skin. So we're just gonna use our gray here. Just because we're using it for our shirt. Touch up here. It's really nice, actually. A really nice brush, actually. Um, it was about five bucks. So, you know, your normal brush price. So we're gonna go in here and actually do the eyes. I always have problems painting eyes. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna start that off. So what we're gonna do is celestial green, celestian green. We're going to paint this center eye. Okay, well, no, never mind, I guess. 
There we go. Yeah, so that came out quite well. It helped that the eyes were actually molded in the model. So there was some detail to get the upper eye on. This brush did pretty good, actually. Really like this brush. That's uh, with a point. So we're gonna go in now with the same brush and we're going to add the pupil at its finest detail here. So excuse me if I don't get it in the scene. So far it's starting to feel kind of, kind of army painter-ish. So that kind of slightly better than Games Workshop detail brush. Just a little bit of water and are rounding it up on the, uh, you know, the thing, the paper towel. And it's back to being about its same original point. We're gonna go and continue painting this. I'm gonna let the camera cool down and charge. And when we come back, we'll show the model completely off and we'll finish our review on these bristles and brushes. See you guys in that end of this video. Hey guys, this is Will at the end of the video. Uh, sorry for the crappier sounding microphone. I'm recording this on a headset. Um, I'm not really feeling good today, but this is a multi-part video. Uh, hopefully you guys had a good New Year's and Christmas. Uh, I could have been better, but you know, that's not this video. That can be for another time, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I really liked the brushes. I think they're really great. Though those larger ones, I guess mine just maybe had an issue, but they felt just a little bit too long and just not like a, a proper miniature brush. They felt more like a uh, acrylic or watercolor paintbrush for canvases and stuff. But besides that, the, the Z, everything that's smaller than the seven, great. Uh, the wolf hairs are great at maintaining stuff, you know, of course, follow the safety practices of your brush and you'll do fine. Keep that water clean. Don't use metallics with them. Don't use, you know, texture paint. But yeah, and that filet brush, it's a good alternative to a fine tip brush if you want to use them. They're pretty nice. It's Vallejo. Vallejo is pretty decent. And at the price that they was sold at, yeah, it's a good alternative. If you like Vallejo product, there's nothing wrong with going with it. But with that, guys, thank you for tuning in, watching all the way to the end here, or just skipping to see the final product. Hopefully you guys go back and watch more of it. But we'll hope to see you guys more in the New Year's. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next video. Click the video. Click it. Click the video. You know you want to. Click it. Yeah.